My name is Esteban Yobai, I'm an agronomist and I'm trying to understand, explain why we have such an amazing river that appears in so little time. There's uh, three basic factors or explanations that converge to explain the presence of the river here. Number one, we have been going through rainy years in the recent past. Climate has been changing. That's an important factor, but it's not enough. Next, the nature of the soils that we have here, which are quite unstable. And third, the fact that this watershed, this territory, is hosting a lot of agriculture for the first time. Before it had uh, an abundant cover of forest and grasslands. The main transformation of the vegetation in this area has been the replacement of the original forests, which we have behind me here, with agriculture, mainly maize and soybean. As the water table comes up closer to the surface, it brings not only water but salts to the surface. And this causes the death of the trees behind me, which are caldenes, calden, the native, most important native tree in this area. Now they are dead because of this flooding and salinization of the soil. There are some winners like this salt bush that grows in salty places and is replacing the original vegetation and actually it tastes very salty. Here we are in one of these gullies that the new river is carving and this offers us the possibility of looking at what the soil is like here. It's basically dust. Dust that has fine sand as its main component and came all the way from the Andes over the last thousands of years. This dusty material, when it gets soaked, becomes really unstable and actually what may look like a, like a solid becomes a liquid. And this helps this humble river move a lot of sediment away from this area in spite of the relatively low slope that we have. 